Welcome back to Adobe Moto, where I talk, you listen, and at the end of it, you guys tell me in the comment section why you want me to be your dad. Today I'm gonna list nine mods that I would do to my sport bike, and I'm gonna try to convince you to do the same. Freaking sun's in my face. All right, first one, tank grips. And I'm not talking about tank pads where you put your grandmother's face on it and you put your crotch right up against the tank. I'm talking about grips for the sides of your legs. What do they do? They help you grip, especially when you're leaned over. The inside of your knee or the inside of your leg is what keeps you on the bike when you're hanging off like your favorite racer, Valentino Rossi. And as you can see, I actually do not have any. Next would be adjustable clip-ons. These are from a company called Woodcraft. Thank you, Woodcraft, for sponsoring me for one race season. Adjustable clip-ons are awesome. You can set the clip-ons to the perfect position of your arm and your wrist because comfortable equals proper and proper equals comfortable. Next thing I would do is rear sets. It's the same concept as clip-ons. You want to be as comfortable as possible. Plus there's an added advantage. These are Woodcraft rear sets. Thank you again Woodcraft. The foot pegs take a lot of the brunt when you crash. There's spaces in here right in the center made to break during a crash and leave you with a little nubby so that way you can get your bike off the track or ride your ass home after a crash. These OEM ones do jack squat. Next, I would get rid of your OEM turn signals, aka your diaper. Even though these are super functional, they're ugly as shit. Integrated turn signals are actually illegal in 50 states. I believe they have to be separated units and they have to be a certain distance away from each other. But if you're like me, you don't have turn signals and you don't really use turn signals anyway. Get it or don't, I personally ditch the diaper every time. Next, I would get a phone mount. I like RAM mounts. You can use whatever company you like. It's great for obvious reasons. GPS, answering phone calls while you ride if you have a headset, and doing TikTok lives of you riding and dancing. I don't have mine installed. I don't think I will because at a certain point in your riding career you don't want to be bothered by anything and it's just too much distraction for me. Next up would be a taller windscreen. Don't buy the eBay ones. The quality of the plastic distorts what's in front of you if you buy the cheap ass ones. Stick to something name brand. Uh, next one would be a 360 camera or at least some kind of GoPro. Not just for recording your cool social media stuff but it also helps when it comes to accidents. People in cars will lie or they'll run. It gives you a fighting chance with insurance and slash or in court. That's if you actually pull over for the car. Next would be some sort of exhaust system. Personally, I wouldn't bother wasting money on a slip-on. I'd go three-quarter exhaust or full exhaust, whichever one gets rid of the catalytic converter. The catalytic converter is extremely heavy. In some instances, you'll save up to 20 pounds. That's a lot of static weight, but it is very expensive. Not just the exhaust, but the last mod that I recommend is an ECU flash. You gotta run with the correct air-fuel ratio. I wouldn't risk running your bike without an ECU flash if you have some kind of exhaust that gets rid of the catalytic converter. The change in exhaust pressure will mess with the AFRs. Oh, and another thing worth mentioning would be like adjustable clutch and brake levers. It's more common to have the brake lever adjustable on most sport bikes, but the clutch lever is usually non-adjustable. I have a quick shifter and auto blip, so I don't personally care to upgrade either levers. I personally like the longer levers over the shorter levers. I think the perfect combo is a short brake lever and a long clutch lever, but that's just me. Let's argue about it in the comment section. 